Pick 6 Podcast here back in Las Vegas, coming to you from the fountains at the Bellagio, looking at the Strip, lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. If I recall correctly, this is a Super Bowl matchup between the Chiefs and the 49ers, and it's the Pick 6 crew live on set. Look at that. You can catch us all week long, streaming on CBS Sports HQ. Come down to the Bellagio and see us live. Get your picture taken with Pete Prisco, Will Brents, and John Breach, whoever your favorite HQ talent is. All right, boys, we are back doing a little more bowl prediction. Pete Prisco had a good first segment breach, so a little pressure on you, buddy. But first things first, don't forget, stream wall-to-wall coverage with our CBS Sports HQ team of hosts, insiders, and analysis as they tackle the biggest storylines, interview the game's brightest stars, and keep you up to date with the latest betting odds and much more leading up to the best Sunday of the year. A few days away here, breach. Let's start with your bowl predictions. Brock Purdy throws zero touchdown passes. That seems pretty bold. Two games in 2023 with zero touchdown passes, according to research here. What leads you down this path, given how well he played the second half of the NFC Championship game? Well, I feel like he's played one good quarter against the Packers, two good quarters against the Lions, but there's definitely been some struggles here. We've really seen it in the first half of both playoff games, uh, but this was really more of a Steve Spagnuolo thing. You look at the path the Chiefs have taken to the postseason. They beat Tua Tagovailoa and that offense. They beat Josh Allen and that Bills offense. They beat Lamar Jackson and that Ravens offense. So what you have is just a guy who was on a roll making these defensive games. Plan. So it's really been pretty amazing uh, how nice. well he's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing how well he's been doing stopping these That's quarterbacks. Pretty bad what you just yeah. did. Does too. my pun get pretty an A grade? Terrible. Does it get an A grade? Yeah. So I, I think this is going to be a situation where uh, Spagnuolo forces Purdy to struggle. And Pete, as you know, when that happens, Kyle Shanahan doesn't always trust his quarterback in these big situations. And that's when you start handing the ball off to Christian McCaffrey a lot. So I think maybe they get two or three rushing touchdowns, but Purdy gets zero passing touchdowns. I'm going to give that a B, okay. a solid B. And the reason is, uh, I, look, he did struggle in those two games. People kind of forget yeah. that because he played well at the end, but he did struggle. So I, I give you a B plus the Spagnola factor. I mean, this guy stopped Tom Brady when he was the greatest uh, offense member when Randy Moss and gang, he yeah. stopped that offense. And so I think Spagnola will come up with a lot of different looks. I also think Spagnola likes to play a lot of nickel and dime. They led the league in nickel and dime coverage this year. And so if that's the case, what are the 49ers going to do? They'll run it. So I'm with right. you. I, I like the bold prediction. I don't think it's really that bold, to be honest with you. What? I don't. I will I, say this. And yeah, I was going to give it a D. Zero touchdowns is not bold? This is, see, this is quintessential classic. You breach. don't even know what quintessential yeah. means. <laughs> That's you, a true t- point. T- I, it's quintessential breach. It's the essence of breach. It's something that sounds bold, but isn't really bold. He says zero touchdowns. You're like, oh, you're, you're oohed and on by the magic of zero. But the reality is, it's not that bold. One in each of the last two games. He's turned zero plenty of times this year. And Frank Twice. He's been, That's not plenty of he's times. He's been flummoxed by good defenses. <laughs> yeah, They're going to the run the ball. They're going to run the, the ball. The more I think conference. about it, the more I think about it, I like it as a bold prediction, but I don't think it's that bold. Let me let me D, offer some. D. They me, played 19 games, and he's only been held to zero twice. That's let a low me, percentage. Let me support you a little bit, Breach. Thanks, Brent. Again, Thanks, the Brent. research notes here. Uh, Kansas City runs man-to-man coverage on 32% of their snaps, which is fifth most in the NFL. Brock Purdy versus man coverage has thrown 13 touchdowns and just one interception this season. So it's Fair. not like he doesn't excel against man, and it's not like Spax doesn't play a ton of man. So that's one thing. Brock Purdy against the Blitz, and we know that Casey can get after Blitz. Number one in the league. Number one in the league. 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. So I don't understand. That actually is pretty bold, unless Spagnuolo is going to suddenly start playing zone and mix things up, which they didn't do a lot of. Who, lead, who led the NFL this year in red zone carries? Breach. Christian McCaffrey. Oh, my, my, my. How many times did Christian McCaffrey you can get, score touchdowns McCaffrey, from anywhere on the field, Christian McCaffrey, top five in the NFL in rushes inside the five. And Christian McCaffrey, number two in terms of rushes inside the ten. When they get in the red zone, they give the ball to Christian McCaffrey. You get a D. You can't change your mind. I can't believe this. What a bad grader. That, I, I give your grade a D. That's actually – I'm giving him an A. I think zero touchdowns. Is, what, what, he was in the MVP conversation well, you, for It's like you give weeks. every draft pick an A. I'm glad I, oh. this, I made this so divisive here. An A, a B, and a D. That might I be know. the greatest range of grades we've ever and had. By the way, you know, you know what that spells? Bad. <laughs> ah! 
Yeah, you walked right into that one, Breach. All right, next up, Breach is our uh, unofficial and official special teams correspondent here at the Pick 6 oh, Podcast. No, 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 no. We're not doing any special teams when I'm on the show. Fritz goes off the show. There's no, there's no way well, in hell. Well, going to break it. There's no way in hell we're doing special teams. They're kickers, Breach. Please, not a kicker. As, uh, as oh, boy. Breach said last night. The Has game Prisco could, ever done a podcast with me? I this know. is all I know, Prisco. The game could come down to a kick, so you sort of need the kickers. Uh, so, again, special teams correspondent John Breach would have uh, have to have a, a special teams prop here. Harrison Butker, kicker for the Chiefs, makes the longest field goal in Super Bowl history. Breach, you – Peter's our resident NFL historian. Let's see if you're the special teams historian. Don't cheat. Current record, field goal, oh, he knows. longest he field goal Super Bowl. <laughs> Steve Christie, 54 yards, Bills kicker. All right, I'll double down on this one. Pete, I'll ask you because Christie's uh, a little I think before. Technically, Ray Finkel had a longer. Where does Steve Christie go to college? Whoa, that's a good one. Is it William and Mary? The College of William and Mary. Oh! College where you married. All right. He had a big something. leg. Steve Christie had a big leg. Absolutely. Great. great mullet, too. 89% of field, <laughs> career field goals. Second best in NFL history for Harrison Bucker. Hasn't missed this postseason. Seven of seven in both PATs and the field goals uh, breach. So, uh, can you put aside the special teams nature of this bowl prediction, Pete, and give No, give, it's an automatic F if you start mentioning <laughs> the kickers. <laughs> They're Long all is, interchangeable. Here, let me ask you this then, Pete. Let me ask you, let me let me phrase the question so that it becomes a coaching decision versus special teams play. You have Steve Christie with the longest field goal in Super Bowl history is only 54 yards. The longest field goal attempted in Super Bowl history is only 56 yards. Coaches seem risk averse from attempting longer field goals in the Super Bowl. But Why do you kicker, think that is? You got to admit the kicker's, you know, ability to make the long field goals is ten times greater than it was ten years well, ago. Well, we still haven't seen anybody beat Christie's record. Well, I like think in I the think, Super Bowl. Okay, right. so well, that's, that's okay. I'll give, you, I'll give you for that. I'll give you a bold prediction. I'll give you say they're going to break the record. Break the record. That, that that's pretty bold. I'll give you a B plus for that. Oh, there okay. you go. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna give right. you a, I just don't want to grade something that involves a kicker. Oh, stop it, Petey. I'm going to give you. A B minus. I'll take it. It's better than D. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So, your bold prediction. Th- look, these are, this is another quintessential breach bold prediction. It involves a kicker. It's a record that he can easily break if he's given the opportunity, right? Like, there's no ch- there's It's totally reasonable that Harrison Bucker could kick it 55 yards well, if he's given the opportunity. Some, the question is, will he get the look? Some teams don't even try him when they got a chance to win a game or tie right. a game. Well, I, I didn't want to tell Dan Campbell. I didn't want to tell Pete this before he offered his grade. Uh, Harrison Bucker's long in the Super Bowl breach. 52. <laughs> so he's kicked a 52 yarder in the Super Bowl. So three more yards, he'll get the record. But it's a record. It's, I'm going to give you an A breach. I'm, I'm team of breach. Course today. You are. Thanks, yeah, Wilson. Of course you are. He's a first round pick. <laughs> I'm, I'm going Wilson, to give Wilson's grade an A, too, because Wilson knows that he has yet to go. Thank you. So, uh, uh, so he's, he's whereas cool. I'm like, right. breach is guaranteed to give me one bad This right. is what is called right. Brinson game theory. Right. Yep. All right, we're going to take another quick break when we come back. Oh, Willie Bear Brinson's going to be on the clock, get his bowl predictions right after this. 